Following Her Majesty the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebrations over the past four days, I'm sure you'll agree that Windsor is a very fitting venue for today's announcement. With just 51 days to go until London 2012, it gives me great pleasure to announce today 48 rowers will represent Team GB this summer. It's been a tremendous day. Um, 48 of our rowers, we, we will have 52 uh, selected today. And uh, there's been a buzz around the team, um, and uh, I, I feel we're in the home straight now towards the games, and it, it's great to see everybody so excited. It is our strongest team by far a long way. Is that uh, I've been in, involved in some uh, pretty good rowing teams in the past, and some very successful crews. But as a team, this is by strongest the, the, the rowing team that we've ever had. It's so amazing that um, we can be named as part of one of the strongest teams we've ever put out. And, and it's so exciting to be here with the whole team today. I mean, being part of a strong team is massive um, through the year just in training. Like, when you come into a strong team, you you just have to raise your game to get up to the level of, like, the guys around you. It's a really important day. It's kind of, uh, it's been eight years in the making for both of us. Um, it's our first game, so it's... Uh, Kind of one of those days which in the grand scheme of things it means quite a lot. I don't think it's sunk in really, even though we've, we've sort of had an idea for a while, it never quite seems real or um, yeah, but amazing. All these Jubilee celebrations, it reminds you how proud you are to be British and I mean we represent Great Britain every year at the World Championships and it's just it's such an amazing thing to you know be representing your country not only at World Championship but now at Olympics. Knowing that there are so many people here, uh, not just not just who are rowing fans, but people all over the country who are Olympic fans and sports fans, who will be behind us and supporting us, and have been supporting us for so many months, weeks, years, uh, to get to this stage. You know, it's the enthusiasm that everybody has for the Olympics is building every single day, and it feels special today. Um, and we need to appreciate it for what it is, because, like Bill said, we both missed out in Beijing in the same boat, um, and now we're here today finally being announced for Team GB and it, it's a massive thing for us. Pretty much most of the crowd is going to be cheering for British athletes. I think it's going to, it can't be any bigger than that and I think that will produce exceptional performances. And whereas today is, is a significant stepping stone, you know, it's not going to give us anything on the start line. It's not going to help us achieve our dreams of those gold medals. But, you know, I look down with pride and I can see those rings and I, I know I'm on my way. It's great to be here at, at Windsor, under the, in the shadows of Windsor Castle, just off the back of the Jubilee weekend, which I think was a lovely weekend to see how proud people get of being British. If we can replicate that with uh, performances at, at the Olympics and get everybody really excited about sports again, like they were four years ago with our strong team performance, I think that would be something very special and, and something to be proud of. I got ridiculously excited during the Jubilee, far more than I thought, I think everyone did. Uh, it, that, that enthusiasm is absolutely infectious. I'm just hoping that people are holding on to the Union Jacks, that they thought the Jubilee was just a warm-up, that the, the two weeks of Olympic competition will bring out the same crowds, the same excitement, the same positive attitude, the same, you know, the same pride in Great Britain that we've just seen through the Jubilee could come to the Olympic Games and it's it will make it utterly sensational. If that's going to be what it's like for two weeks of the Olympics, I think it'll be the best Olympic Games there's ever been.